For most who attended, it was the first time they've ever experienced something like this. Before we started the walk, we had a briefing and a reminder. SubhanAllah, we've got a, a big, uh, big journey ahead of us. It's cold, it is cold, but we've got a bit of uh, skylight. It's not too cloudy, but uh, we can actually reflect and ponder and uh, make use of uh, the silence, inshallah, on uh, reflecting and uh, making dhikr of Allah, inshallah, and uh, to remember the, the families that we're, that we're trying to create awareness for. We were also honoured to have been joined by two hugs representatives. First of all, it's cold. Secondly, it's dark. Um, I'm not sure if we'll even finish this one. It seems, it seems like it will be a challenge, but inshallah, we just keep thinking about, you know, uh, the brothers and sisters and this particular sister. It's hard to explain the, the feeling of being out in the woodland at night. It causes you to think more inwardly and you think, you think about yourself and you think about those around you that need help. And it's, it's one of the perfect times for you to reflect on Alara as well. Um, we know in Islam we're told that after difficulty comes ease. Um, my toes aren't quite feeling that at the moment, um, and nor are my calves, but we know that ease is going to come. But we remember that what we're doing the walk for is for the brothers and sisters who are going through some real difficulties. And inshallah, um, the money that we're trying to raise is to give them ease, you know. So it's just to remind ourselves as to what we're doing this for. Um, so inshallah, I'm glad that the Dean Road has actually told me about this particular walk that we're, um, we're doing. Obviously, um, Dean Road is, is known for doing charity works, but um, yeah, my body's sore, but as I said already, the real purpose is for brothers and sisters going through some real difficulties at this moment in time. Alhamdulillah, I was dreading it, uh, but once you get started, do you know what I mean? You just get going and then, you know, you warm up a bit. It was very cold before we started. Alhamdulillah, it was good, man. It was good. Um, well, with regards to the journey, Alhamdulillah, it was challenging. It was somewhat challenging. My feet are still killing me at the moment. Uh, we got warm out within time, but do you know, all in all, the journey itself was a beautiful opportunity to do some tatabo, to do some pondering on the, you know, our own situation. But before that, the situation of the others, the situation of the families that Hugs helps with, the situations that we know of, Wallahi, the situations that we don't know of. This is something, you know, we've just been exposed to the reality of what, this, what happened with the sister. How about the other families? How about the other people who, who might not have much knowledge on what, you know, what they go through on a day-to-day -day basis, what they might have had to endure or go through uh, some nights on, on, out of loneliness or out of the struggle that they're going through. And at the same time, as a wake-up call, and it was a beautiful time for ourselves to think about our own situation and hold ourselves to account, you know, in our own life and in the way that we help each other. We sincerely hope to hit our target but more importantly, we hope that the brothers and sisters watching this will continue to donate and support hugs. For us, the walk may have ended, but for the families who are suffering, the stress will continue unless we do something to help. If you haven't donated, subhanAllah, I'm wondering why brothers, sisters, everyone that's watching this video, donate generously 